All right, what up, what up, what up? What up? Oh, why am I seeing this shit looking all weird now? Need to change the video resolution. Damn, why this shit always on some bullshit? Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, what up, people? I'm trying to trying to make sure this shit is working right. It's saying that um, I don't know why it's saying I'm not on the right thing. Hold on. All right, you guys can see me good. Can you guys see me good and hear me good? Can you guys see me and hear me? Let me know, okay? All right, everything's good? All right, cool, because YouTube be, be on some bullshit sometimes. I'll be like trying to look and the shit's saying it's acting funny, but we on, okay? So I'm not going to be on too long, but I wanted to talk about some things real quick. What's going on in the chat room? What's popping? So before we get into all of that, make sure you guys get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day. Bam, I got this light crazy over here, so you can't even see it, but there we go. How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, ebook, card copy, audio book. Make sure you get this book at mrlocario.com. It comes with two free audio programs, which is called The Confidence Booster and The Conversation Booster. Make sure you guys go to mrlocario.com to get this book or click the link below. You feel me? Um, so yeah, so today I, want, I wanted to talk about why you should stop keeping tabs on the chicks you're dating. So what does that mean? Stop, uh, focusing on them, stalking them, wondering what they're doing when they're not around you. Just stop all of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, you guys should get this book too. This is not my book, but this book right here though, this, this, this right here, The Way to Love by Anthony DeMello. This is, this is a required reading. For everybody, this book is the shit, okay? So go to Amazon.com to get that book, all right? Shout out to Anthony DeMello, you know, spitting that real shit. But anyway, so let's pop it in the chat room. We got Eric, Devin, Matthew, Mr. James, Sticky E, Black Raider, at the Aladdin show, um, you know, all these people. So what's, what's good? So what I wanted to tell you guys real quick is that you should not worry or think about or uh, bother yourself about the girls you're dating. Because first of all, because I, I put a video out earlier and I had a, a subscriber email. He was basically saying that he's dating this chick who was studying abroad. And then he's like, yo, is this chick, you know, should I, should I confront her or should I like ask her, um, is she... Like fucking with other guys. And I was basically telling him, nah, don't 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 bother to do that shit. And and you guys gotta understand when you're dating a chick, when you're just dating a girl, this is a girl you're dating, you're hooking up with, this is not your girlfriend. Okay? Remember that this girl is not your girlfriend. Okay? So if you're hooking up with a chick, that's not that's not your girlfriend. If it's, if she's if it's just just a fuck buddy shit, yeah, that's not your girlfriend. If you guys are just dating, y'all haven't like said to each other we're boyfriend and girlfriend. That's not your girlfriend. So you 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 need to fall back and just chill. See what happens is a lot of dudes they're they're meeting you know they're dealing with women and they don't want to come to terms with the fact that they're sharing the girl. You understand? They don't want to come to terms with the fact that they're sharing the chick. You see what I mean? So what happens is, if you're, if you got, let's say you, any of you guys in the chat room, you, you're you dating a chick, right? Then I might be dating that same girl. You see what I mean? And she might be seeing another dude. You understand? So, you know, this is how it goes. <clears throat> this times where I've been on Tinder and I say to a chick, yo, what you up to tonight? And she's like, I got a date tonight. You feel what I'm saying? So we could, we could, you know, let's, we could make something happen tomorrow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you got to understand this. See, you got to get out of your ego. You have to stop um, expecting that you're going to meet these girls 
They're going to just be by them. They're going to be not seeing anyone else. You understand what I'm saying? And you expect them to just be seeing you even though you guys are just dating. Now, again, there are times where you might meet a girl and she might not be dating anybody. It's not like that's impossible to happen. But in most cases, most chicks, when you meet them, they're at least seeing one other guy. You understand what I'm saying? Shout out to my dude, Afi Kingdom in the building. What's popping, bro? But yeah, you got to understand that that's not... <laughs> That's not your that's not your chick, man. Now, once she becomes your girlfriend, once you guys are boyfriend and girlfriend, y'all in that monogamous relationship, then that's a different story. Then it's like, okay, now it's just you and her. But you know, I had a I had a comment from from uh, one of my subscribers, and he was he was like he was like very upset about thinking about women or dating women and and them you know messing with other dudes. And what you got to understand is when you're dating a chick, she's messing with other guys. Some guys are under the illusion when they meet a girl that this girl is just totally single. She's not seeing anybody. She's just at home knitting sweaters, you know, waiting for you to, uh, to, to holler. You understand? So, you know. You said boyfriend and girlfriends get shared to even married chicks can be can be had. Real talk. That's what I'm saying. So so the thing is, guys got to really understand that this is part of the game. But what makes it, um, you know, what makes it tough is that they're you know they they just can't they can't they can't fathom fucking a chick. Or dealing with a chick sexually, right? And knowing that there's another guy also making it happen. You understand? Like, <laughs> what was funny, I remember one time I was talking to this guy about, you know, this type of topic. And, you know, I told him, I said, listen, um, you know, I told him I'm in an open relationship, right? So he's like, how do you, how in the hell do you, how are you okay or how are you uh, cool with your, your, your wife messing with other dudes, right? And then, but then he proceeded to say, he was like, he was like, you know, and, and this is the weird part. He said, he said, you know, he was saying that, how do you, how are you okay with this because she's she's like coming from another dude to you right but what i said to him is also is, is also the flip side i said but the other see i don't want to ruin you, you guys' lives tonight but i'm i'm, I'm gonna ruin you guys' lives so just to to get things in perspective what i told him is is that the guy she's seeing is seeing her after me <laughs> you understand know what i'm saying so I want to ask you guys a question. Have you have you ever went on a date with a chick and kissed her in the mouth? You understand? Have you ever went on a date with a girl, first date, and you kissed a girl in the mouth? Or you met a girl at a bar and you kissed her in the mouth? Right? How do you know where her mouth has just been? You don't. <laughs> oh man, y'all y'all gonna want to never look at a woman again. I feel I feel bad for y'all dudes. Y'all gonna be like, I'm ne all all y'all in the chat room is going MGTOW after this fucking stream. I guarantee it. <laughs> y'all like I'm done. You understand? But see, what you gotta understand is is that yo, you gotta you gotta come to terms with this shit. You got to come to terms with this shit. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's part of the game, bro. So, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But the thing is all saying where if you're dating a chick, you don't want to you don't want to keep tabs on this girl. Right? Because what it does is that, you know, it makes it to where 
you're going to lose the girl quicker. She's going to see you as insecure. She's going to see you as needy. And that's going to make her lose the attraction she has for you. You understand? So in order to keep that girl wanting to keep fucking with you, right? You're going to have to do your thing with her and then keep the shit pushing. That's it. Don't worry about where she been. Don't worry about if she was fucking with other dudes. The only time you need to think about that is when you and her decide y'all want to be boyfriend and girlfriend in a monogamous relationship. And see, some guys are like, damn, but I want to, you know, like, I want to meet a chick who's not out here fucking around with other dudes. Good luck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Unless you find in a virgin, these dudes is out here getting it pop. I mean, these chicks is out here getting it popping. You understand? Matthew, you want you say you want me to include the Patreon links? So the Patreon is hold on, patreon.com slash Mr. Locario. I got two Patreons right now. So the patreon.com slash Mr. Locario is where the bad boy show is. And now what I need all you guys to do is join that. Plus, I got a new Patreon because we have a new show called The Confidence Show that you guys should be checking out. So patreon.com slash The Confidence Show. And on The Confidence Show, we talk about success. We talk about confidence. We talk about happiness. You know, stuff like that. You understand? Dr. Cutters, you said you had a hookup for tonight. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. But yeah, but when you guys are dating chicks, always remember that's not your girl. And the interesting part about this is that if you're dating a girl and, um, you know, you're looking to see if this girl could be wifey, what you want to look at is you want to look at how she's treating you. Is she treating you well? Is she cooperating with you? Is she following your instructions? Is she doing those things towards you? Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to judge her sexual situation and look at that as the, the test to see if, if she's wifey material. And so what I mean is you don't want to look at it and, and, and see, well, is she only fucking me? Right? Because most likely she's not. Like she's doing all the other other stuff. See, what you got to understand is this. If you want her to fuck you, and that's it. If you want her to just fuck you, you need to be in a monogamous relationship with her. A boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. But what happens is, is that that takes time for you to actually get that relationship. What you don't want to do is you don't want to get into a relationship with a woman just because you want her to just be with you. Don't know. You understand? You have to take time to, to see if this chick is worthy of being in a relationship with you. If she's worthy of being a girlfriend. Once you see that, then you can be in that relationship with her. And then that's when you'll have her to yourself. But understand that there still has been guys she's been with the whole time while you're dating. Jermaine Jones, you said you can't join the Patreon because because you don't look good and looks matter. It's true. It's true. You're right. <laughs> You're right, man. But I, but this is what I'm trying to say to you guys, man. You got to understand that you are you are you are um you know sharing these chicks. Oh, I forgot to mention last week. Remember we had that girl on on the, on the, on the chat, Laura, I think her name was. So she fronted on the picture. She never sent the pictures. So she fronted on the picture. So everybody who was asking me about the pictures, she didn't she didn't send them. You understand? Because I said I was going to show it on the on the joint if she sent them, but she didn't send them. You understand? Zagan 20 shout out to you, bro. You said dudes think commitment with chicks ensures fidelity. Exactly. It's funny because dudes, dudes be thinking, you know, once they get into that monogamous relationship, she'll never cheat or whatever. Now, what I'm saying is that you're more likely to have a situation where she's only fucking you because y'all are in that monogamous relationship. But understand, before you guys are in that monogamous relationship, don't think for a second that that girl is only having sex with you. 
You understand? Right? Don't don't fool yourselves. Because the dude that sent me the, the email, he was like, you know, this chick seemed like she might want to be in a relationship and he seemed like he probably likes her and he's like, should I ask this girl, is she fucking other guys while she was studying abroad? And I'm like, dude, she most likely was. And it's like, don't waste energy asking her that. You, it's 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 um unnecessary energy you're putting out there. Because until she's your girl, the chick is free to do whatever the fuck she want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And this is the thing: a lot of guys, what what they what they what they'll try to do is, and this is what a lot of guys want. They want to be able to know, to know how to control a chick. You understand? The most you can do when it comes to women is manage them, upgrade their mind so that they're a little bit more aware of certain things in, in, in the situation of dealing with you, right? And, you know, just overall, like, you can guide the chick in a better direction, right? But you cannot control the girl, you understand? So even even when you put a woman, even when you have a woman in a monogamous relationship, you guys are sort of saying, hey, it's just me and you. It's just, you know, it's just us two. But at the end of the day, you still can't control her. So understand there are times or there are situations where she may end up cheating, right? There's ways that you can uh, somewhat maybe prevent that or not necessarily prevent it, but make it less likely she will cheat or make it less likely she's going to do some other shit. But you can never 100% control the situation because it's not in your control. It's She's her own chick. Just like your chick can't control you. You feel what I'm saying? Because if you feel like you want to, you see a bad chick and you want to mess with her, you're going to go mess with her. Even if you think it's wrong, even if you think you shouldn't, you still going to probably do what you want to do. Right? Junior Bad, you said possess a woman's mind first. And see, and that's the closest you can get to influencing her to sort of go in that direction you wanted her to go in. You see what I'm saying? But even with that, you will never get 100% control. You see what I mean? You said what makes a woman want to cheat? A lot, a lot of different things. Sometimes she wants some new dick. Sometimes she's feeling uh, uh you know she's not feeling close to the guy that she's with you understand like there's an emotional aspect to it um sometimes where she feels you know there's something wrong with the relationship she may be looking for a replacement you understand there's a, a few reasons why you said if a girl has an extremely high body count she could she probably has a very high sex drive so how can she ever uh be loyal to a guy well, she could be loyal. She ain't going to be faithful. You understand? Like, loyal means that she can still, she'll still stick around with a guy for a long time, but she won't be faithful, meaning she's not going to just be fucking with him on some sex shit. You understand? So, yeah, so she has a, and, and this is the thing, a girl can have a high sex drive and still be monogamous to that guy. You understand? It's, it's you know, it's, it's very difficult but if that guy also has a high sex drive, then yeah, they can make that happen. You understand? But it all depends on the, you know, the, the two people. You understand? So, you know. Man. Jon Snow, what up? What's popping? What is going on? So you said I'm you asking my am I gonna do a, a Black Friday Christmas sale? Yeah, I'm gonna do a Christmas sale. I'm gonna do a Christmas sale. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get my new book out by Christmas so I can give it to you guys for free if you join the Bad Boy membership. So I talked about this before. I have a, a new book coming out. Um, I'm still putting the little pieces together at this point, but you guys will see what's popping soon. You feel what I'm saying? Dono Jonah Dono Jonas, you said what's the guidelines in the open? Why if you can kiss or suck condoms or no condoms? Is there any rules? <laughs> well, this is the thing. I I tell you me me and my wife, what it is is that when we mess with other people, of course we you know we use uh protection or whatever. Um and the thing is with with like for example with her, 
if she's with another dude, she like she has to. Okay, I'm giving y'all too much information, but I'll, I'll just let you know just so you guys can can uh, can learn certain things or whatever. If you want to do this too, so when she's with another dude, um, you know, and this is the and this is what I love about even being open, which if I because since I know that she's with another dude, when she comes to me. She has to, of course, take a shower and brush her teeth. You know what I'm saying? Before we do anything. You understand? So, a lot of people, like I was saying earlier when I was talking to that dude, and he was like, you know, how do you deal with that? And, you know, um, and, and I think what he said was, he said he could, he would be able to to be with someone's girl. He said he would be able to be with a, someone else's girl or someone else's wife. But he said he couldn't. Have his wife doing that shit. So what I told him, I said, but... Because he was like, oh, I don't, you know... Um, like, he was like, it just seems nasty or weird to him. But I, but, I, but what I said to him... Oh, I'll take a call in a second. What I said to him was... The reverse. Again, I said, so... If you're dealing with another guy's wife or girlfriend... Do you understand that... When she comes to you, she probably just fucked her boyfriend or husband you feel what i'm saying like yeah you understand what i'm saying so no matter which way you put it you can't escape it this is what i'm trying to tell you guys because look i've been dude let me tell you guys something let me say you guys something i've been with chicks where i'm finished smashing and she's on her way to a date you understand? She's on her way to a date. And she didn't even shower. You understand? Meaning, I've had sex with a woman or uh, several women. They went on a date after I had sex with them. And some of them didn't shower after we had sex. So, so you guys, you going out with these girls... <laughs> And, you know, that shit could go down. You said that's why you don't date these souls. But either way, even if you're hooking up with a chick, the girl you hooking up with could have just came from hooking up with another dude. Bro, I, 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 I've, I've seen it. I've been in, you know, in those situations. I'm telling you dudes. I'm telling you guys. Chicks be getting down. You know what's crazy? When I'm on Tinder, let me tell you guys something. When I'm on Tinder, I'll be swiping or whatever. I'll match with a girl, right? And sometimes I match with chicks who, um, who have boyfriends. And so, but they'll say in their in their profile, they're like, uh, "Hey, I'm looking for someone to join me and my boyfriend." So I get, I'll be swiping on these chicks. I'll be matching with these chicks, and then you know. Like, I don't really be looking too much when I'm swiping, so I'm just swiping on whoever. So then when I see the match, I'll look in it and I'll see that, I'll, I'll read the profile, and the chick will be like, hey, you know, here looking for someone to have fun with me and my boyfriend. So then I got, remember I, I swiped on this chick, I got a, um, I got a message, I got a message, hold on, I'm gonna take calls in a second. I got a message from a chick who's like, She's like, yo, me and my me and my man is gonna be here at this time. Do you wanna join us? You feel what I'm saying? And I'm just like, God damn. So motherfuckers is sharing their girls willingly, and other people is sharing their girls without even knowing. You feel what I'm saying? So that that's what that's what happens. But let me let me get some calls real quick. Let me get some calls real quick. Um Six four six four eight one three nine zero one. So you guys can call in real quick. Hold on, let me see. Let me see. All right. Yo, what's going on? What's popping? Hey man, what's happening, man? It's Millicent J, man. What's going on, bro? Man, hey, hey, shit, man. You know, this thing getting at these holes, man. You know, saying selling these holes a dream. You know, because I am a politician, man. You know what I mean? I go state to state. City, city, titty to titty, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's good, though, with you, man? Man, man, hey, 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 shit, man. You dig what I'm saying? But, but in two ways, man. You understand? So, you know, 
there's a, uh, this one girl, man, that I've been, you know, trying to get at for a while, man, you mm. know, and um, she pretty much uh, told me, mm. you understand, that, uh, you know, because, you know, we made plans to go out to dinner or whatever. Mm. Now, I was going to take her to uh, Maggiano's, man, some little nice little Italian spot out of uh, Maryland or whatever. Mm. You know, so she called back and pretty much said that, you know, she want to take things slow, you know what I mean, and she want to start out as friends. You know oh, what I mean? But you know, like I said, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, you know, I told her, like, listen, man, I am not Peter Parker. Mm -hmm. I am not Colin Banks. You know what I mean? I am not some lap dog or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, no, 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 no. You understand? You know, at the end of the day, I'm interested, but, you know, I just want to do something that's not as intimate, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I don't want to waste your time, waste your money or whatever. So I'm like, you know, I appreciate that or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I say, listen, you know, here's what I'm willing to do. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. I kind of went out on a whim. You dig what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'm like, listen, if you're talking about in the sense of just starting from a neutral zone and building up to something, mm. you know, that I'm a little bit more open to. But I'm telling you right now, you understand, mm. if you just look at me, looking at me as free attention, you understand, as a damn human tampon or whatever, mm, right. I'm not with that shit. So, <laughs> you understand, so I wanted to get your, uh, your, your, your professional opinion on this shit, man. You right. What you say about that, man? Right. Well, this, this is the thing. What you, what you want to do is um, you want to eliminate all... Uh, aspects of her being able to deal with you in any type of way like that. You understand what I'm saying? So what you need, what you would tell her is that, like, you got to be real cut and dry with the shit. You got to say because if she's like, oh, I wanna, I wanna do this as friends, blah blah blah. First of all, the thing is this: you got to always have the shit on your terms. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? Right. Have it on your terms and then have her follow that. So if she's talking about, oh, I just want to be friends. Well, listen. I'm not into doing that friend thing, but this is what we could do. And then you you tell her what you're going to do. And so you'd be like, hey, look, I ain't trying to have you on no friendship, but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you my, you got my number, right? Um, I want you to think about me and you hooking up, right? Then I want you to call me next week, Friday, and then we're going to find a, pla a time to, you know, a place to, to hook up next week or whatever it is. So you just make the narrative about you and about what you're trying to do. And, then that, and if she participates, she has to follow that versus her trying to set her own little thing and then you following that because it's chicks when they talk about well you know i just you know i want you to you know i want to start out as friends what they're doing is they're setting you up to be that guy because remember women put us in categories just like we put them in categories so we see a girl be like oh she's fuck buddy material she could be you know a, a, a side chick or she could be my wifey you know that type of shit Women do the same thing, but they're like, well, I can have this guy pay my rent. I can have this guy be my friend. I can have this guy be the guy I have sex with. This could be the guy that I'm going to probably make my boyfriend. You see what I'm saying? So remember, anytime she's bringing up any of those things, when she's talking about friend type shit, she's just looking at you and saying, I'm going to put you in that category. You see what I'm saying? And you have to decline that at all costs. You, you got to say, listen, I'm not going to do this. This is what I want to do. And if you're down with doing what I want to do, holler at me. If not, then you can keep it moving. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, right, right. I, I feel what you're saying. Mm. So, you know, this, all right, so just to kind of re recap or whatnot, because mm. like I said, you know, honestly, you know, I felt that I was I was pretty much cut and dry. Mm. You know what I mean? I let her know that I didn't want to just be just friends. Mm. But, you know, if you want to kind of, you know, uh, uh, get together under these pretenses, because I understand bitches, they like to, you know, mm. label shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They they don't want they, they want all plausible but deny They don't want them, they don't want to take no responsibility for nothing. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. So you know, so I you know, so you know, so you pretty much saying that like are you saying pretty much saying like it's it's a dub or can I just kinda go at it from that, that, that shadow or that, that narrative or whatever and still finesse it to get what I want? Nah, you gotta you gotta make that shit clear as day, bruh. You understand? Because what you don't wanna do is Cause like what what it sounds like you're saying you're saying well we could kind of just chill and then see where it goes type of shit you feel what I'm saying what? like don't not nah, don't do none of that because remember that's her that's her game of like making it ambiguous so that you know she has room to sort of play around with you you feel what I'm saying because now you're still also giving her room to play around it's almost like it has to be we either doing this or we doing that and if you're not doing this then you got to go. You feel what I'm saying? Because you want her to be able to make a decision based off of something concrete. See, women, what they'll do is, women like to have wiggle room. You have to give them zero wiggle room. You feel what I'm saying? When you're, when you're dealing with them. It has to be, this is what it is. Are you down or not? None of this in between, none of this maybe, none of this like, I'll, we'll see what we could do and all this other stuff. 
It's like you have to be able to make it be cut and dry. And the only and, and the only time where you even may even sort of in some sort of way uh like give it some sort of wiggle room is that if if you're directing the situation to where you're still uh you know leading it in a certain direction. So for example, let's say if you was on an online dating site with a girl, and you know sometimes what what chicks will say is They'll say, oh, can we talk on here more? Can we, you know, like have more conversation on here before we meet up or I, whatever, right? So what you'll do is you'll flip it and say, well, listen, I'm going to give you my number and call me like right now, call me right now, call me in 10 minutes or whatever you want to call you. And now we'll talk on the phone and see what we could do. You understand? Because it's almost like you're giving her that, that, that leeway to like still talk. But what you're really doing is, you're now putting her in a position to follow your instructions because you're telling her, we're not, well, you want to talk, but we're not going to talk in here. What we're going to do is what I want to do, which is here's my number, call me, and then we'll talk. You understand what I'm saying? So it's still you leading the situation and you, you know, making it how you want it to be. It's, the, the, the thing is with women is that you don't, you don't want to give them any room uh, to, to have you following their program at all. You understand what I'm saying? Period. Right, right, it's really right. just that cut and dry. Like whenever you feel the sense of her bringing her narrative to the situation, don't fall into her narrative. Don't follow what she's saying ever. You understand what I'm saying? Don't follow what she's right, saying right, ever. Right. Don't don't do. Even it's it's to the point where if she's saying something that that let's say let's say the, and this is the thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on. God damn. <coughs> yes, I'm warming up. Hello, you still there? Ooh. <coughs> damn, but the god damn. <coughs> Man, I'm about to die up in here. Shit. That's what they have that good game you were spitting. That's what it was. Woo! Good. Oh my god, I'm about to die up in this bitch. <coughs> damn, god damn it, shit. That's dop in this motherfucker. Anyway. <coughs> Whoa, shit. You're about to see a play die on this motherfucker. Anyway. <coughs> oh, god damn it. Alright, so what I'm, what was I saying? Shit, I fucking almost Yeah, you you talk about no party <coughs> holes or whatever, man. No wiggle room out this motherfucker. Right, right. That's that's all I'm saying. Like, <coughs> right. Okay. Ooh, shit. So, so my, all right. So my question to you is: So is it? Is it? Do you think this is a practical dub right here? Because like I said, I don't mm. really think that. You know, <coughs> I put myself in a place where I can't get out. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I understand that. You know, because like I said, women, women, women like narratives. Women like to to label shit. So at the end of the day, I feel like, well, listen, if she, if you know, if if, if if I can somehow meet her, meet her halfway type shit, you know what I'm saying? That, that will still allow me to work my magic, work my wildlife magic to, in, in the hopes of getting what I want. You know what I mean? So, you mm. know, that, that's, that's, that, that was my mindset there. You know what I mean? But you know what? But I get what you're saying, though. You understand? Mm. Right. So you're saying, you're saying you're trying to get in by... Giving that wiggle room so you could end up doing the thing you trying to do. Right. I mean, it's a 50-50 chance. It's not, it's not necessarily guaranteed. You understand? But, you understand? Because at the end of the day, you know, I feel like, you know, there's some bitches. Because, you know, I feel like with some bitches or whatever, that they are, you know, they, they are very apprehensive. Because, like, they, <laughs> like you said, like you said in a lot of your videos, a mm. lot of these hoes, man, they got options. So they done dealt with a lot of niggas. So, you know what I'm saying? I know I, I, you know, I know I'm not the first nigga, you understand, to go at this hole. Because at the end of the day, like I said, you know, I don't give a fuck if I'm the first or the 80th nigga to get the bitch. You know what I'm I just want my turn. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I'm So, you know, that's, that's, that's my, that was my more so strategy or mentality with that. But mm -hmm. you know what, like I said, I, 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 I get what you're saying, though. Right, right. So, but this is, this is the thing, this is the thing. Is that, because you're saying, well, you know, she's been with a whole bunch of dudes and, you know, there's a lot of guys out there that, you know, she's been with and all this other stuff. And this is why sometimes you're going to have to charge them to the game, period. You feel what I'm saying? Because right. the thing is, again, 
the game is about you. You want to make sure that she's doing everything to make, you know, your life easier in regard to you dealing with a woman. You understand what I'm saying? So right. if she's not doing that, all that means is that you're opening up the situation for her to play games. You feel what I'm saying? You open up the situation for whatever you're trying to do to take longer. You feel what I mean? Right. And right. so sometimes all you got to see is, because because this is what you this is what you want this is what you want to do because most guys unfortunately they're doing the stuff you're saying which is sort of like trying to like you know get in there by by you know giving her that wiggle room you understand what I'm saying and then so what happens right. is is that you know most guys are going to do that so when you differentiate yourself and you say look I'm not that type of dude basically by your actions they're saying that. What happens is, is that she sees you differently, which also makes you look more valuable in her eyes. So this is why sometimes you're going to have to charge her, but then sometimes she'll come back. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes you might not get her at that moment. This is why I tell her, like I tell her, I'll be like, yo, listen, um, this is what I want to do. So when you're ready to do that, holler at me. That's it. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you're going to have to let them go for them to come back. You see what I mean? But what you don't want to do okay. it ever is like fall into her her bullshit. You see what I mean? Okay, 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 okay. So yeah, so that's what it is, man. That's what it oh, is. All right, all right, man. Yeah, I said, like I said, man. You know, I appreciate you. You know, picking up my call, man. Giving me this uh, this game on how to finesse these holes. You understand mm -hmm. me, man? Keep doing what you're doing, man. You understand me, man? Like I said, man. You know, my head, man. Looking for a bitch just in his life right now. Was white, man. Like, I'm <laughs> crazy, man. You understand? Know I'm looking for a bitch that got stuff that's like uh, Sarah Palin, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that's what's up, bro. That's what's all up, right, bro. Man, but yeah, man, keep keep doing your thing, bro, all right? Yes, sir. All right, man, I'm holler at you. All right. Please. Woo, man. Shit, I'm, I feel like I swallowed up some dry air. I was like fucking coughing like a motherfucker. Shit. You saw what happened to the Laura situation? Yeah, I told you, Laura, she didn't she didn't send a picture. She, she fronted on it. She fronted on the whole situation. Yo, what's going on? What's good? This is uh, Infinite Is About to Open. What's up, bro? What's popping with you? I'm good, brother. How you feeling? Chilling, chilling. What's, what's, what up? What's, what's going on, bro? Hey, man, I just had a quick to say, man. Look, just an honest thing out there. If the bitch ain't easy, keep it moving, man. Exactly, like, hearing, exactly. I, was, I, I heard the last <laughs> time, like, he was on the phone with you for a few well, and I'm not trying to knock him or nothing like that, but if if you're spending that all that time to talk about one bitch, mm -hmm. one bitch, like you gotta have an abundance mindset, right? You feel me, like at all times. So if you over here overthinking and all these complicated formulas and mm. strategies over one bitch, hey man, the way I look at it, the bitch that's choosing, she's always gonna be easy. Now, the mm. bitch that's complicated, she, she ain't trying to fuck with you. Right, right. You feel me? <laughs> right, exactly. Just, and, it, she, and a lot of dudes don't know, like, women love attention. So they they don't give a fuck. Like, they have all the time <coughs> in the world to just do bullshit and just steer you around a, a cycle or whatever, and they don't even give a fuck. You feel me? They're just having fun along the ride. A lot right. of dudes, because us, we try to be concise with our time. We thinking, well, she's with us. Oh, uh, obviously she's interested. I'm like, no, they work different. Right, right, exactly, so, exactly. Because because you know, we we're the ones who say I'm fucking with her because I actually I actually want to do something with her. A chick is like exactly. fucking with you sometimes just because you there in the moment and it's like whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's that's it. You know what I mean? Like they're not they're not looking at it this they're not looking at it the same way we are looking at it. You know what yeah, I mean? They have they have all like not 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 necessarily saying they have all the time in the world. But they're not as disciplined as we are or, or as concise or, or constructive in regards to our time. Like every time like most of the time when you're dealing with it, when you when you on your shit, you got a purpose or agenda. If, if I'm at the gym I'm trying to work out arms today. Right, so right, right. Here, it's a specific thing. Women it's like, come on, like, they'll be up and down, under indecisive, all that mm -hmm. stuff. You as a man, you gotta be straight to the fucking 
point. Uh-huh, Straight right. To the fucking, and like you said, don't give these bitches no wiggle room. Mm-hmm. You give them wiggle room, they're going to be dancing. Oh, all the dude, day. I'm telling you because I used to do that shit all the time. And it's just like, it's a big time waster, man. I'm telling you. It's a big fucking time. Because, yo, there was this one chick I was messing with, man. And it was like, like a few times that I was messing with her, it was like I always, like she would just annoy the fuck out of me because she would do certain shit, but I was like, I was almost following her lead to a certain extent and not really putting my foot down and telling her what the, what is supposed to happen. You feel what I'm saying? So, like for example, I remember one time, she was like, oh, you know, come come through to my house at this time. I said, cool, let's make that happen or whatever, right? So I'm on my way to her house. I text her, I say, yo, I'm about to leave for your house. I get in the cab. And she's like, oh, uh, instead of meeting me at my house, can you meet me at this other place? So now I'm in the fucking cab, and I got to tell the cab to turn around and go to the... <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So now I get to the other spot where she at. You feel what I'm saying? And then I get there and then she's with like one of her friends and I'm like, why the fuck is the friend there or whatever? And she's like, oh, can we just like uh, hang out with her for a little bit because I haven't seen her in a while. And I'm like, look at this. She's like, what the hell's going on with this? And now I'm mad at me because I allowed this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's what, that's what you see what I mean? Like, I'm like, no, you can't. You got to tell a chick like what I should have told her was, listen, I'm coming to your house and stay there. And if you won't, if you won't, if you don't stay there, I'm just not coming. And that's it. You feel what I mean? Like, yeah. just that, yeah. that simple. Exactly. And, and and another thing that a lot of these dudes need to accept, mm-hmm. you feel me, is these bitches is out here. They out here fucking. They mm-hmm. fucking, 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 fucking. It's just the dudes that really ain't out here, they don't want to believe it. Mm-hmm. Because in Ooh. some way... They don't want to accept that because they're not getting no play. Mm-hmm. So they don't want to. They don't want to look at themselves like, hmm, maybe it's something that you was doing wrong. Mm-hmm. But you're not getting play. You'd rather be like, ah, oh, you know, I mean, no one really ain't out here. You right, know, exactly. And, that, and see, yada, yada. right, and that's what they're not. Because they not, they not fucking. So they don't want to look at themselves and be like, God damn, how come I haven't been fucking? Exactly. That's real talk. Because you gotta understand something. When dudes hear the truth about how chicks are. It's, this is why they have that year that, that, that when, when dudes talk about that that red pill rage, you feel what I'm saying? It's that feeling of you're so angry because you 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 finally found out how a woman's true nature is. You're like shit because now you now because imagine imagine you with a chick right? Because this happened to one of my boys. He was with this chick who was basically just on some straight whole shit. Like she she'll fuck anybody whatever, but she ain't fuck him though. So imagine you find out the girl that you was trying to fuck ain't fuck you, but she been fucking everybody else. You feel what I'm saying? You're going to feel exactly. a certain type of way. You feel what I mean? So so it's like, you know, so dudes who, who have a hard time getting it sometimes, they feel a certain type of way hearing about how shit really goes down. You see what I'm saying? It's like this, right? Like the bitch that you just mentioned, who, you know, who's known to be a hoe, whatever, she does her shit in the open. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. She does this shit in the open, so she's just more open with it, so she fucking damn near anybody and everybody knows. Mm-hmm. Right. And you got bitches who, they select the hoes where they go mm-hmm. out of town. It might, bitch be, it might be bitches, you know, at your high school rather than fucking everybody at your high school. Mm-hmm. She fucking bitches at the high school down the street or down, right. you know, the right. other side of the city. Or across, you know, whatever, mm-hmm. you know. But a lot of times bitches go uh, out of state to fuck, you feel me? But... Mm-hmm. A lot of these dudes really don't be, they really ain't out here. You feel mm-hmm. me? So a lot of times when they be explaining things, you, you, I remember I had a, a, a conversation with a dude the other day, and um, he was over here was like, no, women are not, men are having much more sex than women are, right? Right. And I'm like, all right, all right, cool, all right, cool, all right, but well, so who are, who are men fucking? Me? Exactly, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like, open up the legs. Like, exactly. Open up the legs. And, but he, but he don't want to believe it because he ain't fucking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, right. You know what I mean? So it's like, man. It's crazy out here. That's the thing. Like, when do when, when dudes start really, because they, like, yo, trust me, I, I sat back and looked at all of this shit, and I'm just like, like, the shit is, is crazy when you think about this shit, man, because 
the stuff that I've that I've dealt with when I'm dealing with certain women, you know, I've dealt with women who had boyfriends, who had husbands, women who were in bed with me as they're calling their boyfriends and husbands and shit. You know, like it's 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 crazy. You understand what I'm saying? Like like I had chicks where you know, like I, I blatantly heard them lying to their boyfriends and everything. Like the girl, like I was at a spot one time and I'm, I'm fucking this chick and she, the boyfriend calls, she picks up the phone and she's naked right in front of me on her knees. And she's telling her man, Hey, what's up? Um, yeah, I'm about to go to sleep right now. I'm getting a little tired. Love you. Bye. And then she fucking hangs up and starts sucking my dick. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. so I'm like, when you go through that, you just look, you just be looking at chicks like, wait a second. Women aren't the sweet little innocent, you know, no. non-sexual no. beings that I was taught to believe they are. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. No, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. And, and the thing is, um, and this is where a lot of dudes fuck up, is because a lot of dudes place morality on snakes. Right. And women know that. Mm-hmm. Women and other women place morality as well, too. Right. So, so what women know is not only are they devalued in regards to, like, their uh, potential... Uh, having you know relationship mm-hmm. but also a lot of men and women look at women who you know be fucking a lot as like they're bad people so right right like right there's like this bad stigma like not just that the fact that you know she, she like to have sex but she's somewhat bad but i'm not going front like some of the bitches i fuck are some of the nicest coolest people mm-hmm. right I, that's I've what i've ever <laughs> met you know what that's what i'm saying a lot, a, a lot of dudes though some kind of, a, 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 First, you know, uh, a lot of dudes who, you know, obviously they probably didn't get the pussy from her or whatever. Mm-hmm. A lot of times when you hear, like, I oh, mean, you know, I fucked her or whatever, right? And then a lot of dudes be like, you know, they might think she's home or whatever. But I'm like, man, you just mad because possibly you couldn't fuck the bitch. Right, right, right. That's what it, that's what it be a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? That's what it really be a lot of times. And I'm like, yo, you know, chicks, see, see, yo, I don't think that dudes, like, okay, I've been with women, right? Because I, I, I like sex a lot. Like, I'm, you know... Like, people, you know, women who know me, you understand what I'm saying? Just people who know me in general personally know how I get down or whatever. But there's women that I've met who they like sex so much. It's like, I had to tell them, chill. You feel me? Like, yo, relax. Be like, let me get it. Let me get time to, 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 to breathe, yo. Like, they just they just want to keep going every day, all like hours. And I'm like, I ain't got time for all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's funny because dudes, they think that women don't like sex just as much as us. Now, what I could t- what I could say is women love attention more than us. So sometimes this is why you'll have women sort of just and this is the thing and this is why you got to understand why women want uh will will take attention cuz this is what you got to understand about how women in in it comes to sex. As much as women love sex, they can't do it like how we could do it. Meaning that a woman's body the way it's it's functioned in the way that it, it works is that most women now there are some women who could do this but most women can't take just fucking all the time like if women actually had sex with all the guys who wanted to have sex with them chicks would be doing nothing all day but fucking and eating and shitting fucking and eating and shitting just be 24 hours a day <laughs> motherfuckers just coming in like they can't they can't fuck everybody you understand the women look if women fucked at least, they can't even fuck half the guys that want to fuck them. You understand? But what? But what can women do though? But we, but us, we could probably fuck uh, at least eighty percent of the women who want to fuck us. We'll do this. We'll fuck a new chick every day. We'll fuck two, three chicks every day if you wanted to, right? But yeah, since they can't fuck every guy, what's the next best thing? You see what I'm saying? Attention. You see what I'm saying? And so this is why they love the attention because. They know they can't physically fuck every guy, but what they can do is they could take a whole bunch of attention from thousands and thousands of guys, especially with social media, all this other stuff. So what you got to understand is, is that even when you're having sex with a woman, as much as women love sex, that's still attention to her. So when you're dealing yeah. with a girl, you have to say to yourself, what type of attention am I giving her? Am I, giving, am I, getting, uh, am I getting sexual attention from her or non-sexual attention from her? You see what I mean? And that's the question you got to ask yourself all the time when you're dealing with these girls. And you'll it'll be revealed to you what it really is based off of how she's dealing with you. You yeah. see what I'm saying? And, and, and the number one thing that women say all the time mm. is, is men are thirsty. Men right. are thirsty, but at the same time, they say men are dogs. Mm. I'm like, how the fuck can you be thirsty if <laughs> right. you're fucking? Right, 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 exactly. You feel me? Like, if you fucking, like, you're going to go front, like, do I have to? 
But see, they, but see, like the first shopping. You but know see, what they, I'm they talk. They talking about. They talking about two different guys, though. That's the thing. That's exactly. the part they're not getting. They because when they say men are thirsty, they're talking about the guys who they're not fucking, who always want to fuck. When they say men are dogs, they talk about the guys who's fucking the shit out of them that they like but don't want to be with them. You see what I'm saying? It's always, yeah. it's always too, and that's the thing you gotta keep an eye on when you're talking about when you're thinking about women. They, and this is what will confuse guys. You have because I heard I've even heard guys say, but you know, girls say they don't like being approached in the street. No, that's not true. They don't wanna like they don't like when guys they don't like approach them in the street. That's that's what they're leaving exactly. out. Exactly. You see what I mean? Facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. That's what it is. Facts. It, it's been time to uh, me and my partner's dad about or whatever, where different times we've approached the same bitch. Mm. Right? Mm. And our our approach probably was not even that different, really, mm. right? Right. She fucked with him, she didn't fuck with me. Mm-hmm. On the flip side, it's the same thing. Like, right. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter. You feel me? Like a lot of times. I, like I remember you had a debate with I, I, you had like a light skin girl on there one time mm-hmm. where she was over here saying like she don't like him when dudes approach her on the subway right. or the buses and all that. I'm like yeah. and you were like man fuck all that other shit like go ahead if you do it out here approach these bitches right mm-hmm. and the thing is why I agree with you is you're not gonna know until you approach her like, exactly. women, like when they see <clears> they're gonna look you up and down and they're going to be like oh, okay like that's why they're looking you up and down when you approach them mm-hmm. they're gonna look you up and down and be like oh, okay Right, exactly, most, most, exactly. Why are they looking? <laughs> why are they looking? They are sizing you up. They're like, oh, okay, you the one. And mm-hmm. if you're not the one, they're just gonna keep you there. You know, just, uh, right, you know, right. They, they want to keep it moving, but mm-hmm. you need to approach these bitches. I don't give a fuck unless they at work. Mm-hmm. I don't approach bitches at work too much. Right, but um, and that bitch outside. Right, outside. Right, you outside. You right. and that, and that's the thing. Like, look, chicks. Even if a chick don't like you. She liked the fact you still approached her, but if she do like you, you feel what I'm saying? She's gonna be welcoming to your approach. So that's that's what I'm saying. Like that's why you can't listen to what chicks are saying because women, what they're gonna do is they're going to only talk about and and women and women love this this shit. They say this shit all the time. Like they love to dwell on the stuff there that they don't like. You understand what I'm saying? They never really express what they do like. And the funny part is, is that. A lot of women don't even know consciously what they like. You understand? Yeah. Which is why it doesn't make sense to listen to women a lot of times when they talk about what they like. Because they'll say, oh, I want a guy that's like this, like that. And then they'll end up responding and getting with a guy who's the opposite of that. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's, so, it's, because, like, look, it's crazy. The way, the, way, the, the way women are, the way women are like job interviews. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, when you go to a job interview, you know, most of the time, which, most people that go to job interview, oh, you know, I'm going to be a, a hard-working person, mm-hmm. and yada, yada, yada. They're going to say, oh, they're going to put their foot, best foot forward and all that shit because, you know, they, they want to get into that, that institution or whatever and make mm-hmm. sure that, you know, they secure a spot or whatever, right? right. The same same thing. It's like they want to secure their reputation so they can make sure that they can get other benefits of dealing with other men. Like, if, all, if everybody was to know that, this girl gets around, all the dudes gonna be like, oh shit, okay. And they're just gonna approach her just strictly on some just Right, like, exactly. She wants exactly. Her, she wants attention. She wants financial mm-hmm. stability. She mm-hmm. wants most dudes gonna be like they're gonna treat her like like just anything. You feel mm-hmm. me? So that's why they try to act innocent. Right. You feel me? That's why they try to act all just like, oh, you know, I, I, I don't really do this like that. It's like bitch the best big second bitch I've ever met before. Exactly. Like, and, that, and that's why, and that's, and that's the thing with game. That's why you need to be on top of your game because when you're, when you, when you understand this, you'll know that, see a dude that don't, that don't understand the game, a chick will come up to him and say, oh, you know, I like to get to know a guy and I got to wait like 90 days to, to before this and that, that. A guy don't, that don't understand the game, he's going to be like, Oh, she's one of those good girls, and you know, maybe I, you know, she's like not like the other thoughts out here. No, 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 she's the same as the other chicks. She's just acting like that towards you. You feel what I'm saying? And you're naive enough to fall for it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro. And so the guy who who knows better, right? If she comes up to him like that, he's gonna be like, please get the fuck out of here with that. Or he's gonna he's gonna flirt with her to the point where she gets all aroused and all that shit she was talking goes out the window because he knows. He's like, come on, man, don't be coming at me with that bullshit. You know, so it's it's crazy, it's crazy. Hey, man, you know what like, it is? It, it, it's like this, right? On my I, like, I used to be on Tinder, right? On my Tinder profile, mm-hmm. I clearly stated like I'm just on here for casual 
dating, mm-hmm. nothing else, no platonic, no pen pal, right. none of that shit. It's just blatantly, so like, I'm just here to have pretty much just casual sex, right? Mm-hmm. And, you know, you know, I had a few bitches that would just come through on the late night, whatever, after we matched and they came to the house or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I remember one bitch one time, she came to the house with no bra, no panties, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and we got to the fuck, we got to fucking within 10 seconds when she, we, we slammed the door, like... We walked in, we got to the fucking, right? Mm. And we was in bed and shit, and this bitch was like, you know, I, I, I didn't know we were going to do this. Like, <laughs> oh my God, this is my first time. And you know me, I didn't, you know, I'm just like, oh, bro, okay, yeah, you know, I'm just being chill or whatever, you know right. what I mean? And this bitch is over here, yeah, I just, I know, know, like, do you just get women to come to your, your place like this, like, all the time? And I'm just like, oh, you know, I'm just chilling or whatever, you know, I'm just keeping it chill, but mm-hmm. it's so funny, like, he, she came with no bra, no panties. Mm, see? That's and, how they do. I'm telling like, you. I, her pussy was like wet, like, as soon as, like, I, I literally, literally touched, the, uh, touched the clear, her pussy was dripping. Right. That's and what I'm it like, is. Come on, like, That's what it is, man. What they say and what they respond to, it doesn't align with each other. You exactly. That and, that, and that's what they need. To, that's what you got to know when you're dealing with them, man. That's all it is. But, yo, listen, I got to actually head up out this motherfucker. So, y'all, I appreciate you, you think, calling. Brother. You feel me? Yes, sir. All right, bro. I'm holla. Peace. Next time, peace. Peace. All right, guys. So I have to do a short, short show today because I actually got to bounce out the crib. You feel what I'm saying? But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be back on Friday. I might actually do one tomorrow if I'm, if I'm, if I'm not too busy. But I'll be back on Friday definitely. Um, I appreciate everybody in the chat room tuning in. You feel what I'm saying? Um, let me shout out to everybody. Uh, X Gen Matthew Jeffrey. Uh, Dark Nedge 190 Jermaine Jones Shout out to you bruh Black Raider Von D Gaming Takim Who else is up in here T Williams Got Juice Jamie Forster Farsty Huffy Puffy Mike S Ultra Gold Chain Shout out to you Ellie Empire Beast the East Who else is up in here Junior Abad uh, da, 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 da. Danzino Sticky E, Omar, De, De La Cruz was pop was popping with you, bro. What's up in here? Dr. Cuddles is up in here. Um, who else? Lee Troyd. Gerald Brown. Man, yeah, shout out to everybody up in here. Um, thanks for rocking with me. Oh, you know, even though I was about to die up on the stream, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Coughing and shit. But remember, get how to have sex with two women a day. Ebook, hard copy, audiobook. Holla at your boy, and I will see you guys later. All right, remember the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.